Hey everyone, welcome back, Stacker here. In today's numismatic news and information for the 27th day of July, 2023, I'd like to welcome you over to MoneyMetals.com so we can check out those live spot prices. But before that, huge shout out and a big thank you to each and every single one of our channel members. Really appreciate all y'all's support. Thank you all very much. Now, here we are at MoneyMetals.com. Looks like gold's up 280 to 1984.40. Silver up 4 cents to 25.18. Platinum up 405 to 984.20. And palladium is down 1309.35. Looks like there's an in stock American Silver Eagle at 39.18. Less the ask. You're looking at 13.99 for that premium. Now, over here to U.S. Mint's bullion sales. Sales totals are updated every weekday by 5 p.m. And we're at the 27th day. 26 was reporting day. And well, there's no new tale to tell, especially for that fractional gold bullion. And look at that. Those are some meager numbers. 36,000, 35,000 last month. And this was actually a really low total since I think 2000, well, maybe even 1998. But here we go. We're beating those records here for June and July. Isn't that something? Now, did you try and get one of these yesterday? Well, this is Vault Box Series 3, and it was super duper frustrating for myself. I was trying to pick one of these up. Just one. Wasn't able to. Um, there's only one coin or metal per box uh, that did come with a gold back. It was $229. And let me tell you, I experienced bad gateway errors throughout, which, well, should give us some pause and reflect and say, you know what? The United States Mint isn't so bad because let's face it, we have way more demand for mint products than we do for this Vault Box Series 3 or even Vault Box Series 2 or 1. But at the same time, I think what this tells us is that Vault Box Series 3 is very popular, ultimately super popular. Why do I say that? Well, look at the demand. Look at the website. And, 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 you know, if you own this company, Vault Box, you probably were like, okay, let's get the website ready. We had kind of some hiccups the first two times. Well, another hiccup the third time. So, you know, they are definitely um, being challenged by the demand that they are creating. Think about that. That's kind of like Dr. Uh, uh, David J. Ryder. He got himself fired because of his success. That's, think about that. That's rough. Now, what are these selling for on eBay? Well, I'm glad you asked. Look at that load time. That's awesome. That's some awesome internet speed. Maybe it's a computer processor. I don't know. Either way, it's real slow, and I apologize. Look at this. July 26, new listing. Sold for $489.99. $4.80 there, $4.95. $4.85 and $4.80 and $4.80. Well, about $4.80 there as well. $4.50. That's the deal of the day right there, isn't it? Yeah, $229 to $500. More than double, folks. Isn't that something? That's remarkable. And did you get one? Did you not get one? Did you try real hard? I know I did, and I got nothing but, well, roadblocked. Now, over here to coinnews.net, there's an article by Mike Unser, and this is a really important article, folks. It says, U.S. Mint sales, Navy one out silver metal popular. And Mike Unser says, the United States Mint introduced one new product for collectors last week. That was the U.S. Navy one out silver metal. And there it is, folks. It is a beautiful metal. Now, it's released on July 17th for $75. The Navy metal registered seven-day sales totaling 17,828, easily making it the Mint's top seller for the week ending July 23rd, and already nearly most sold in the series. And I think that's the key takeaway here, folks, is nearly the most sold in the series. Well, how is that possible? Well, here we go. The medal is the Mint's third one-ounce issue from the Armed Forces Silver Medal Program. We have U.S. Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force, Marines, Army, and we're supposed to get a Space Force, two and a half ounce and a one ounce, but we don't know when. All right, so... Let's keep on keeping on. Now, because it's the third issuance in the metal program, the first one was celebrating the Air Force, open with sales of 12,000, almost 800, and is now at 17,893. Look at that word, 17,828. All right, that's really close. The second one out from the series, which recognizes the Coast Guard, debuted with 13,661 and now stands at 16,410. Well, clearly, this is the number two big dog and soon to be the number one big dog on the Mint's weekly sellers. Elsewhere, last week's sales data from the Mint showed that their pair of 2023 Philadelphia Uncirculated Morgan and Peace dollars accounted for a combined sales total of half a million coins with splits of 264,000 and 263,000 for the Peace. Now, you got to see this, folks. This is remarkable. I'm not really going to go over this too much here. Um, Navy proof set. Look at that proof set. That's remarkable, actually, for the proof set for 2023. You know why? Because the 2022 is no longer available. And, well, well, let's face it, it. And that's what, you know, always makes me wonder. I thought the proof set from 2022 was supposed to be available to the end of 2023. At least that's what I hear. But that's not been the behavior lately, has it? That's interesting. I don't think anybody has an answer for that one, do they? There we go. 20 in the four and five spot are the uncirculated Morgan, uncirculated Silver Eagle, mid set, 
Um, nope, third spot, peace. And did you get a peace dollar with the director strike? Oh my goodness. Now look at this 2022 mint set, sold 398. We know the mintage limit on that one is 250,000. So we are getting to the bottom of the barrel on that one. Uh, American Women Quarters proof set there, sold 317. These are small numbers. Congratulations set, sold 279. The Abraham Lincoln Presidential Silver Medal sold 222. And I think that one's still on back order, backdated to October 6th. Now we are here at the 10th spot. 2023 American Women Quarters Silver proof set sold 214. Now in its latest report, U.S. Mint published sales data for 330. Two numismatic products. Among these products, 87 of them outperformed their sales in the previous week compared to 83 in the prior report. So things are a little bit hopping at the United States Mint. Excluding the new silver medal, four products experienced an increase of more than a thousand units compared to two in the previous report. Meanwhile, the report revealed that one product had negative weekly sales compared to six in the prior report, the product falling but only by one unit, and that was the American Women Quarters proof set. All right, here we go. This is the real story of the day here, the Morgan and Peace Silver Dollars. Look at the increase on the 40-coin bulk packages for the Morgan and Peace uncirculated silver dollars. That is incredible, folks. What's up with that? Look at that. 60% increase. Those are going to the bullion dealers. And we didn't see anything like this for 2021, Morgan and Peace Dollars. That's interesting. Armed Forces medals, look at that. Just bounce. Boom. And I think the fact that the Navy uh, one-ounce medal came out might have given a pop to the other one-ounce silver medals as well. So let's keep on going. Clad proof sets, that's tremendous amount of sales there. And I'm surprised we finally don't have any sales for the clad proof set from 2000, 2022, right? Um, these are usually trickling out maybe 5, 10, 15, 20 at a time. And it's kind of nice to see they finally stopped trickling out. We are at 399,934, which means we are, well, we, if you want to find that low mintage on a clad proof set, you got to go back to 1954, 1955, somewhere in there from the Philadelphia mints. But as far as the San Francisco strikes, well, this is the lowest since ever in the history of ever for San Francisco clad proof sets. Isn't that something we should all take note of? Now, here we are. Congratulations, gift set. These are uh, have a stated limit of 50,000, and it's probably going to be quite, no, 40,000, my bad. It's probably going to be a few months, maybe a year, if at this rate that we see the congratulations set disappear off the mid schedule. In fact, we might see the congratulations set for 2024 once, if this one, well, I, I, look, I think we might still see this 23 congratulations gift set available by the time the 24 is released, okay? That would be something. That would be a first. And if we do see something like that, does the mint lower that stated limit back down to 30,000 and back away from that 40? I think that's interesting. Now, what's also interesting, um, they had a pop in uncirculated silver eagles. I think that's a big deal. Really big deal, 1.37%. But what's really remaining constant out of all of these reports is, well, the gold sales. All right, look at that, 1.76% for that 10th ounce. And let's, let's remind ourselves that the Mint is not making bullion fractional gold. So people have to, well, maybe go off the Mint website to pick that up, yeah? Another increase here, American Gold Eagle there, 1.74, increase of 80. Uh, another increase here for the Gold Buffalo, 126. That's a 1% increase. Now, presidential silver medals, look at the sales. They are weak. They are super duper duper weak. Look at that. 222, 1, 3, 2, 2, 2, 5, 3, 13, 8. Yeah, not much wet thing. No, look at this. This is pretty cool. 2023 American Innovation Dollars feature Indiana. Look at the spike in sales here. I wonder what's going on there. Was there a perhaps an error found or the really nice strikes i don't know but that's definitely something we need to look into if somebody knows let us know and i think that's about it as far as that goes i think the american women quarters had some information oh yeah here we go 2020 herbert walker bush presidential coins look at the pop on that one 48 normally they don't sell too much but it popped now that makes me wonder what's going on there with the philadelphia strikes and we do know that philadelphia typically well they usually have more errors than the Denver. So did somebody find an error in that 250 coin bag? You never know. Also, look at this. Uh, Native American rolls. They popped from 2023 also in that 250 coin box. Look at that. And then here we are, Roosevelt Quarters. They sold three of the PDS set. Uh, no PDS for Edith Kanaka Oli, but there was three PDS for Bessie Coleman Quarters. Did you get one of those? And now let's go to the mid schedule. We got a big month coming up here in about a week and a half. 
Oh, boy. So starting on August 8th, we have the U.S. Navy bronze medal. That should be an interesting seller. And I don't think we get bronze medal sales or any bronze sales. And is it really bronze or is it brass? Because the difference is tin or zinc, right? And I think they use zinc and not tin. Tin is about 10 times more expensive than zinc. So this should say new U.S. Navy brass medal. And I don't know why they haven't snapped out of it yet. But either way, whatever. That's not their prerogative, I guess. They uh, Anyway. August 9th is going to be the peace dollar and the Morgan proof. Now, I think these are important because we have never seen, um, well, a proof 70 in a Morgan or a peace dollar. And have they had an opportunity? Well, the Morgans have had a proof before, but they've never been a 70 on the Sheldon scale. Now, the peace dollars have had a mat proof, I believe, in 1922, if I'm not mistaken. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I don't think those have ever been a real true proof. And, well, they've never graded in a 70 as well on that Sheldon scale. So this is a prime opportunity. And, well, you might be asking yourselves, well, why didn't these uh, become, you know, the ones to have? Well, because we already had an uncirculated finish back in 2021. So these are a follow-up, a part two, if you will. And these are a part one. And, well, let's face it, this one down at the bottom here, that's never been an ever thing. And that's a reverse proof set. That's going to be amazing. And I think that this is going to be the one that Miss Venture C. Gibson makes a special strike for. Um, I don't believe, and I could be wrong, and I hope I'm wrong, I don't believe that the United States Mint and Miss Venture Skips are going to have any special strikes concerning the Morgan and Peace Proofs. But if we do, that would be something. So let's keep on going here. This is Morgan Dollar. It's going to be $80. It's going to be on August 9th at noon, 858 Troy Ounces, 39 Fine Silver. And let's look at it again. You know, these were 90% silver before. So the Mint has changed them up, but it's remarkable that they're even able to get it the same size and weight as the originals. I think that's pretty cool. Peace dollar, same story, August 9th at noon, $80. Folks, um, yeah, these have a mintage limit, a product limit of 400000 They have a household order limit of twenty five, And I thought that I wanted to talk about that household order limit for the uncirculated because, well, that 25 do you really need 25 mm. So let's go here to Twitter. This is the United States Mint Twitter page, and we have no information about them having any special strike ceremony in San Francisco. But I'm going to be keeping my eye out to make sure that if we do find something, we say something. Now, here we are at um, eBay, and there's an additional U.S. Mint silver dollar, uh, peace dollar, with a director strike. And it looks like this is number 34, and that's starting is out at fourteen hundred dollars now the other one is at 1875 and that was about 1750 when we did our video yesterday so it is definitely creeping up there and with the four days and nine hours left is well the second listing going to take some pressure off this one making it not hit two thousand dollars well i think it'll hit two thousand dollars it's got four days nine hours left somebody's going to want this one okay now Let's keep on keeping up. We got the plus ones to talk about. Bam! This is Psalm 32 6. Therefore, let everyone who is godly offer prayer to you at a time when you may be found. Surely, in the rush of great waters, they shall not reach him. And I believe what that means to me is that the faithful ones pray at the first hint of misfortune, so that a flood of suffering may not overtake them. And let's look at that. You know, it's really hard to know what you're in when you're in it. Sometimes you need other people like, hey, man, uh, you might want to, oh, yeah, thanks for telling me, you know, counsel. Even the smartest, wisest person is going to need counsel. And that's why it's amazing, because if you get a hint of misfortune at the first sign, I mean, that means your eyes are open, right? So that's pretty amazing. Now let's go to 99.9 KOIN Coin News Radio. This is Billy Ocean, Caribbean Queen, or is it Caribbean Queen? I don't know. But uh, I was going to do Easy Lover with Phil Collins and Philip Bailey. And then I saw this. And I'm like, yeah, this is great. So there it is, folks. I want to thank you all for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Don't forget to hit that like button. And if you do like what you hear, please sub the channel. It's free. And if you like, please consider joining the membership. All members get free shipping at the auctions. And you get to suggest songs for the 99.9 .9 KOI Coin News Radio. Stack her out.